A little over two and a half years ago, to the consternation of a great many people, this channel began talking about an event, something that was looming out on the horizon for the people of this country, and it needed to be prepared for. A lot of folks laughed and pointed figures and said, Florida Maquis, you're crazy, that's never going to happen. We have this wonderful free market capitalist society, and it's never going to be overthrown. Well, now, the government has abandoned people, and slowly... Things are starting to fall apart. For those who haven't prepared, it's going to be their end. But if you took the time and you listened and you saw what was coming, you're probably going to be able to make it through. It's not going to be easy. We're going to get into that in today's video. But first, as always, I would like to say thank you to everyone who continues to join us over at the Florida Maki Patreon channel, where it's only one single U.S. dollar per month. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. And fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked. Florida Marquis, why should I pay a dollar? Well, it gives us a chance to take the gloves off. It gives us a speed bump partnering with Vimeo. We can say things we're not allowed to say here. We can show images we're not allowed to show here. The freedom of speech that people so valued, unfortunately, now has to be put behind certain paywalls. It's just the reality. And plus, it helps the channel out a great deal. It is helping me stand in the breach. It is helping me be able to speak the truth that we can't speak here openly. We're going to talk a little bit more about that today, but I would like to share something that uh, I don't normally talk about. It's another platform um, that deals in short-form video. Um, it's kind of something that you would imagine. It's called The Sound a Clock Makes, and there's this Venezuelan cat who has decided that he's going to go and use the platform to instruct other folks how to come to America and how to invade houses that, pay attention here, he believes are not occupied. Well, all I can say about that is, golly, I hope he's right, but who remembers when Elon Musk said, quote, they will come for your homes. Musk issues dire warning after illegals take over New York City school. This was a long way back, and even the Patriot nurse talked about this. This guy who thinks he has some magic bullet that there's some, quote-unquote, U.S. law that allows him to just go into an, a property that he believes is abandoned and do whatever he wants to. Well... To those of us down here in Florida, that's just kind of really adorable. I don't know if y'all have looked at a picture of Florida lately, but I want you to imagine every canal, every pond, every body of water, pretty much south of Gainesville, residing inside it is a living being that is God's version of a garbage disposal alligators, crocodiles. You see, down here in Florida, that fellow better hope and pray that the house that he decides to break into and occupy isn't already occupied. Because if he's wrong, if he's wrong, he's never going to be seen again. You see, he can run his mouth all he wants about U.S. law says I can this, U.S. law says I can that. Well, what do we know? What do we know about Florida versus the United States? Especially since 2020 and COVID, where U.S. law said this, U.S. law said that, U.S. law said the other, and we decided to just kind of do our own thing. You see, that's what they don't tell them when they come here. And they're going to, unfortunately, find out there's a surprise waiting for them. Now, what does this have to do with anything that we talked about? Well... You see, over at the Patreon channel, we talked about this idea of dealing with the new paradigm, where there's no government blanket anymore, where in certain states, certain parts of the country, you can't count on the authorities to come to your aid like you can in Florida. You would have to be monumentally so unbelievably dumb in Florida to go take a chance and break into a house you thought was abandoned. Because down here, we have so many old folks, and they're all armed. They just will not take a chance. 
and they'll shoot first, ask questions later, and they'll sleep in their bed that night. Some of the advice that we gave was we did a four-part series about shit, it's the fan survival for men, shit, it's the fan survival for women. I had counseled some of the women in my audience who had asked. I said, if you know, you're looking to hook up, if you're looking for a relationship and this is a consideration, perhaps aim a little bit older because older guys tend to have much less inhibition when it comes to using a weapon, especially at night. Now, who also remembers Jennifer Veterans for Truth? She did a wonderful TikTok, TikTok pardon me, talking about uh, how you can easily conceal a weapon, even wearing something like this dress. And I'll give you the link to that video. It's a very short one where she's standing there and wearing a dress. You wouldn't know anything. And then all of a sudden, abracadabra, you have a weapon in your face. Just that fast. You see, the difference is here in the South, we're not worried. I very much doubt that she is losing any sleep over this Venezuelan. Because that would be the last house he would have ever invade he will ever invade if he were to even try to set foot. She's got little ones in that house and she's got absolutely no problem ending it. Now she lives, to be fair, in Louisiana, not in Florida. But the same thought applies. You see, it's not the same. This is the idea. It's not the same in New York as it is in Florida. It's not the same in California as it is in Louisiana. But what's this TikToker saying? Invading a house, quote unquote, in the United States. What's his problem? What's his epic fail here? What's the psychological operation? He thinks the U.S. is just the U.S. is just the U.S. No matter where you're at. It doesn't matter whether you're in Kissimmee or whether you're in St. Louis. It doesn't matter whether you're in Tampa or whether you're in Oklahoma. You see, to those of us that live here, we'd say that's absolutely laughable. We have sheriffs down here that have done videos on YouTube where they have counseled the people living within their jurisdictions to blow invaders out of their homes with their weapons. And when you know they get around to it, they'll get there to dispose of their remains. But there's a lot of Floridians that ain't going to wait. If one of these cats or a group of these cats would try that down here, you wouldn't even need a morgue. You, would, you wouldn't need a coroner. There are millions and millions of God's garbage disposals just swimming around, waiting for an opportunity to serve their purpose. So I find it odd. I do. I find it very strange that people would take what this guy says so seriously because it's just a, uh, you know, I'm not saying that you, know, you shouldn't keep your eyes open. Don't get me wrong. But I do think there's a culture difference between Patriot Nurse, she's up in Tennessee, and Florida down here where we just would look at this guy and laugh. This young kid talking about, you know, seizing property. You see somebody's property down here in Florida and they want you gone, you'll be gone and they're not going to call the police. You'll just disappear. You just won't be anymore. And that's something down in Florida here we just take for granted. But in other parts of the country, apparently, they don't understand that. And that's what brings me back to here, is that there's an event that has now arrived in this country that terrifies a lot of people up north and out west. But down here in the south, there ain't nobody losing a lick of sleep over it. Not at all. I mean, you would have to seriously be silly, stupid. In fact, I'd make the allegation that if you were that dumb, if you were that cripplingly stupid to try that in Florida, if the authorities found you and put you in jail, my allegation is you would probably have a longer, more productive life in prison in Florida 
than you would have had on the outside because you just wouldn't have lived long enough being that dumb down here. I mean, there's absolutely no place I can think of where that would be any kind of a successful strategy. In fact, wasn't it only a matter of months ago that they picked up these guys up in New York that were talking about how they would they use Florida as a place to fence their stolen goods? They steal the stuff all over the country, but then they bring it down here to sell it because this is where they can get top dollar. And Sub said, well, why don't you just steal stuff in Florida? And they just laughed. And they said, because we don't want to die. We don't want to go to prison because they know that's what's going to happen here. So I'm just saying, Jennifer Veterans for Truth, not losing any sleep over some Venezuelan talking about blah, 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 blah. Because they have no idea what's waiting for them. No idea at all. I mean, if you watch TV, I guess if you don't watch CNN and MSNBC and you think that's what all America is, in this particular case, I could also then make the allegation that the censorship is doing us a huge favor. By all means, Mr. Venezuelan guy, we wish you would. We, we wish you would come down here and try some silliness like that. Try it. Come to Florida and give it your best shot. You might get lucky and you might find one abandoned house. You might find two. But I'll guarantee, in short order, you're going to cross the wrong person. And that's just going to be the end of it. And nobody is going to rally to your side. Nobody is going to... Uh, post videos in your defense and talk about how evil white people are. It's just not going to happen. Not down here. You're just going to disappear. You're going to wish you were back in Venezuela. So I will leave that there. But um, it's an interesting thing to see. To the, just the difference even between Appalachia and the South. So many for so long would have thought, well, you know, Tennessee and Missouri and all those southern states, they're all the same. Uh, no, they're absolutely not. We don't live in fear of that down here. In fact, we hear stuff like that and we want to fall out of our chairs laughing. So I will leave it there. Um, join us for a much deeper dive into this um, psychological dysphoria over Patreon. Like I said, one US dollar, three pennies a day. Three pennies a day, that's it. Kick the tires for 90 days. It's not for you if you don't enjoy it. Um, some of the image is a little bit graphic. Some of the, the topics that we talk about are a little bit uncomfortable, but I think that's a result of censorship having been um, so ingrained for so long on normal platform, quote unquote, normal platforms like this, that people have gotten, um, I don't know, they don't have the stomach for it anymore being able to talk about real things and real issues in a real way with real imagery. I think that's something that's being lost. And it's another reason I had counseled young ladies, take it for what it is, to maybe find an older guy. If you want the truth, I mean, if you really want the truth, if you want to have an honest relationship, millennials and younger wouldn't be the way to go. So I'll leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.